Hey guys, it's Tasha Adams, and we're gonna get really close tonight. Okay, so I definitely have combination skin. I'm usually more dry around like the T-zone area, um, and this is usually the area that I do break out in. It's generally hormonal acne. I am very careful with the products I use. I really don't test out too many things. So when I say I use something, it's because it's tried and true, and it is a good one to go to, and it won't break you out, because I've tested it, I guess. Let's get bare face, girl. Okay, for my cleansers, I usually alternate between these two. It really just depends on how my skin's feeling that day, what I've been wearing on my skin, and if it's dry, whatever it's going on. So this one, the NK Salicylic Acid Cleanser, is really good for when I am breaking out. And this La Mer one is more of a gentle face wash, so I will alternate between these two. But tonight, I think I'm gonna use the La Mer just because I used this one last night, and I don't wanna dry my girl even more. So, and this one is actually a really pretty color, so like that. Make sure to be super gentle. But also, I like to just go in circular motions. And I also do like this weird thing where like I break out on my chin for my jawline. So I just make sure I'm going under and... Okay. Hello! <laughs> so fresh and so clean, clean. Okay. So now, dry your face. Make sure you pat. Always be gentle on your skin if you are. Okay. So after that is done, again, very contingent on how my skin is feeling. If I am breaking out, I probably would use um, the Paula's Choice BHA, which I absolutely love. Um, but I actually was introduced to this by a friend, the Lotion P50, and it is so good. Um, it doesn't really smell the best, but look, what do they say? Beauty is pain, right? And it doesn't always smell well, so this is a good step. And we're gonna use this tonight. Um, I like to apply this with a reusable cotton pad. You kind of just push it in the skin. And you do it in more of like an upward motion. So with skincare, I definitely have learned what to use through trial and error. Um, just because I feel like my skin is so incredibly sensitive that I cannot use, I feel like, what everybody else is using. To keep up with my skincare, I really, really, really love to get laser facials. I would say about every, I don't know, month and a half right now. That's where I'm at. And that's... I feel like really keeps the skin really clean and um, helps the texture a lot, the complexion, a lot of the discoloration, and any breakouts. So, another thing that I like to do is exfoliate my lips. Again, it is so dry out here, and I can't have chapped lips because my man, you know what I mean? I'm trying to keep that spark alive. It's new. <laughs> so, I want to be baby soft for that. And this one is from. Sarah Hap, and it is pomegranate, and it smells so freaking good. And what I do with that, get it around, wet my towel, and just kind of take it off. And I love the color that it gives you. Your lips are like flesh pink. Okay, and then I go in with a chapstick or a lip balm. This one is actually from Goop, and it is insane it is insane how good it is looks like this just go hot as you apply Ooh, kissable lips who doesn't love that okay so next i use a serum this stuff right here this blemish and age by skin suitables i swear to you is what keeps my skin in check just also depending on how your skin is you can use it morning and night, but again, it does kind of dry out the skin a little bit. For me, I just drop a little thing right here. You don't want to put like the dropper on your actual skin, but drop back and forth. And I just go ahead and press it in my skin. And I make sure to get it literally everywhere, especially again, the jawline. 
It does burn a little bit if you're not used to it, but it's so good for you. One product that I would definitely splurge on would have to be my serums. Um, I have learned to really love and um, it's important to invest in a really good serum. I don't know, it's just really good for like changing the texture of your skin and really unclogging the pores and really preventing a lot of breakouts generally. Um, so that's what I love, but I also don't mind splurging on a really good facial. And I don't mean like the foo-foo facials of just like rubbing your skin and like telling you you're pretty. I love like a good laser facial or a hydra facial, something that is really actively working to get the impurities out and I see a glowing result afterwards. Okay, so these are the two products that I have newly added to my skin regimen for about, I honestly would say about two months now and I am hooked. I've always been a Skin Medica fan, but I have recently found this one. Again, I didn't really need a lot of moisture before, but now I am in desperate need of it, and the HA5 is everything. Um, it's not a moisturizer, but it is, it basically grabs all the moisture and keeps it into your skin. Um, it attracts the moisture. So what you wanna do is you wanna put this on your skin and then use something um, moisturizing after, if your skin can handle it. So, let's go ahead and take a little dollop, such as this. Through my fingers. And it just feels so good. Okay, so with that being said, once you're done with that, you're good to go with the moisture. Again, bam. SkinCeuticals, this Hydra Balm. I also was starting to put on Aquaphor on around my eyes, because that's where I get like really, really dry. But once I found this, I feel like this is a really good alternative, and I started using it in other areas that I was really getting dry, like around my mouth or like my chin. But I have really found that this is greasy, but it sinks into your skin. So I would do this kind of just, like I put a dollop on my hand but I kind of take my other finger, kind of get as much as I need and kind of just put it where it needs to be applied. This is kind of where I'm feeling dry right now. And I don't know why I do this, but my skin, my eyes get so dry. Oh my gosh, I swear by this stuff. This stuff is so good. And then when my skin is really, really dry and really, really chopped, um, because of like a retinol drying it out or not, I will use a little bit more, kind of rub all of this on and just kind of put it all over my skin. Again, as needed, whatever you need. This is what I'll do. This other thing that I could use is a goop eye cream. Again, it's my eyes get so dry, so if I feel like I need a little bit of the moisture, I definitely will do it. Um, but I just grab a little bit like that. Grab my two of those fingers together. And just really just apply it. And I just kind of pat. I gotta say, I like looking like a glazed donut before I go to bed. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that I really like to use is this Scoop Body Repair Lotion. And it smells so good. Look at my fingers. I just want to eat it. And you kind of just hydrate. I usually do this um, after a shower, but again, we're not that close yet. <laughs> but um, definitely do this from head to toe. Super, super good. Another thing that I do do if I need to, like say after a workout, I did have like a pretty hard workout for that day. Um, I recently was introduced to this Aloe Magnesium Reset Spray and I have found this works so good on your muscles. It's just like, it smells really clean, it smells really good, but it also helps like not have sore muscles the next day because the magnesium. So you just kind of spray it on your body and blend it all in and you're good to go. Last but not least, I love, love, love my Ollie Sleep Chews. And then I make sure I take my Ritual Vitamins. I swear by these also. I was probably introduced to these about two months ago and they are so good. I'm addicted, I can't get enough. So take two of these before I go to bed, take two of these before I go to bed, and I'm out like a light. <laughs> 
my gosh. Looks good. Look at my set. This is, I mean, aside from like a little bit of like the redness, which means it's working, um, I would say your girl is on a good skincare regime. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me, getting ready to go to bed with me. Zach has no idea you're here, so make sure you tiptoe on out, okay? Okay, good night.